Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Vertus here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 FPS series. In today's video we are going to be going over how we can add a reload animation to our game. Now as of right now we've already got the reload system set up, so when the player fires a couple of times it's going to take some ammo away, and then if we press reload it's going to take some ammo away from the max ammo and then put it into your current magazine so that bit's all set up. What I'm essentially going to be doing in today's video is just focusing on the visual representation Presentation things, um, setting up an animation state um, for the reloading and getting the player to transition into that state when they are doing that reloading. So one thing that I do want to mention before I start, for those of you that have been following the series before I uploaded this video, um, is inside of your animation folder I have now placed a new reload animation in there, well a reload animation in there. So just go ahead and import this into your engine, just drag and drop it into the content browser inside of your animations folder choose the skeleton for SWAT and then just import that. Now if you started the series after I uploaded this video then it will already be in your folder, you won't need to do anything, this is just for the guys who have been following it you know, before I uploaded it. So without further ado let's go ahead and get into this and start putting it into our game. So with our reloading animation what you want to do real quick is simply open it up, run around it a little, uh, fly around it and just make sure that it's playing the animation and there's no issues and it's still the same character as before. Now, one thing you will notice with this animation, if I get nice and close on the weapon here, you can see the alignment is a little bit off, you can see that it's just putting the hand slightly above the, you know, the weapon which isn't great. Now the reason why it's doing this is because this weapon isn't really built for you know, this rig, the proportion's a little bit odd, however, when we actually fade to the next animation, it's sort of going to equal that out, so you won't really see the hand going above so much, hopefully, um, so don't worry about it. Now, if you have proper animations, um, a character and a weapon that have all been built and animated together, then everything's going to work smoothly. But for now, we're just going to be making the best of the situation that we have got with this animation and just doing what we can. So, we know that animation is all good for now. What I want to do then is actually open up my animation blueprint for my character. So double click this in your content browser, it's inside of your character folder. Go over to our anim graph. And then from here, what we want to do is open up our state machine. And inside of here, we want to drag out from the idle, add a new state and simply just call this reloading. And then from this, we also want to drag out from walk and run and put that into there. And what we also want to do is drag back from reloading and also back to walk and run as well. We're not going to bother hooking it up to sprint and crouching for now. That's something for another day. I'm sure you guys can figure out how to do that as well. But for now, what you want to do is open up this new reload state and then find your reloading animation in the asset browser in the bottom right. So if you just scroll down and it should be in alphabetical order, grab your reloading and just hook it up just like that. So once we've done this, what we need to do now then is set up some transitional rules. You can see here in the bottom it says, you know, it's not going to go into the state because we haven't set up any rules. Now before we can set up these rules, we actually need to have a variable in place so the engine knows when it can and cannot reload. So that's something that we've got to do inside of the third person character. So I'm going to close this for now. And then I'm going to go back to my main blueprints folder and open up my third person character. And then inside of here, what we're going to do is open up our reload animation. Not our reload animation, but our reload function, um, however. And then if you remember at the end of these, what it's going to do is pretty much tell the player to reload. So what we're going to do from here is essentially cast to the third person character and then change a variable to true for reloading. Now we haven't got one already, so go over to your third person character up here, go to plus variable and then just set this to is reloading. And then for the variable type, just leave this to boolean and the reason why we're leaving it to boolean is because it's simply just a true or false vari uh, variable. We just need to know if they are you know, reloading, yes or no, and it's as straightforward as that. So what we're going to do now then is open up our reload and then at the end of here we are simply going to cast to the third person character with the object wildcard being get player character. What we're going to do is when it reloads at these two end bits if you remember, what we're going to tell it to do is simply um, set is reloading and we are simply going to tell this to true. And we are just pretty much going to copy and paste this for both of these just like that because it's reloading on both of these strings, there's just different actions and different ways of doing this. 
So now that we've done this, we can actually link these up to the transitional rules. However, what we also need to do is set reloading to zero once it's finished playing the animation. Now the simplest way would be to simply add a delay onto the end of this and then turn it back to untrue afterwards. However, because this is a function, you know, it's not really going to let it reload for you. So what I mean by that is it's not going to allow us to add a delay because it's a function. So what we need to do is pretty much bring this variable uh, or bring the system out of this reload function and then into the main character blueprint. And the way that we're going to do this is just add a return node. So add a return node. And then with this, if we actually hook up these variables into it, just dropping it, dragging, dropping it onto the top there, we can actually bring this outside and you'll see exactly what I mean by that in a second. So if you also drag this one onto the top here, that looks all good. And then if we go back to our third person character, you can see we've now got these output nodes, these two booleans. So basically what we're going to do is if either of these return true, we're going to add the delay from inside of here and then we're going to set the, re uh, the reloading variable back to false. So let me show you exactly what I mean. So drag out from the reload, add a branch, and then from this, we're going to add a or node, so or boolean. So if either of these return true, what we're going to do is simply add a delay. And then from there, we are going to set is reloading uh, back to untrue. So hook this up and this will all work. Now, what we need to do is establish how long you want it to wait before it stops reloading. Now, the easiest and the cleanest way to do that is to simply check the length of the animation for reloading. So go into your content browser, animations, find your reload animation, and then we're just going to check the length. So see if we can find it. So reload, there it is, top right here for me. And then inside of here, you can see we've got the length for the animation at the bottom. And for me, that's just 3.3 seconds. Now, if you've got a different animation for reloading, just use a different time, whatever it says at the bottom here, it says exactly 3.3 seconds. So with that, what we need to do then is simply set this delay over here to 3.3 seconds, and that's gonna play the whole animation for you. So if we go ahead and compile this now then, we've got all of the animation stuff set up inside of here. So that's not gonna be too much of an issue. So what we need to do now is just pretty much plug that into our transitional rules. Now, if you get these little issues here, um, where it just says, you know, it doesn't match any parameters or anything, that's because you haven't compiled in both the weapon base and also in the character. If you do that again, you're gonna see it's now good to go and there's no more errors. So just make sure you compile every time you make a change inside of your blueprint and you won't get any issues like that. So moving on then, let's close these. What we want to do now then is go back to our animation blueprint where we contain all of the transitional rules and we just need to set this up. So going from idle to reloading, just double click that state and then we need to get our reloading animation in here, sorry, our reloading variable in here. We haven't got it at the moment, so go over to your event graph and then inside of here just take one of your tracks that you've got already and simply get a reference to reloading. I'm just going to use this third one over here that I've got so it's reloading this is off the crouch line and then simply set or promote to variable even so that we have a little variable in the bottom left here that we can use and we're simply going to call this reloading for now or is reloading and that will do and then with this just drag this and hook it up to crouch true and that's all good there so compile this as you can see, we've still got the transitional rule stuff because we haven't set that up yet. Hook up your is reloading into idle to reloading rule. That's all good. And then if you go back to your walk run, do the same thing for going from walk run to reloading. And hook this up just like that. And then if we go back to walk run, it's a bit different for going back. So what we're going to do is for going back, so starting off from reloading to idle, open this up get is reloading and then what we're after this time is just simply equal boolean and then just make sure this is unchecked and this is going to return true if you know this is false which is fine and what i'm also going to do is copy this real quick and then put it for going back from reloading to walk around as well Control v to paste it in and then just hook it up and hopefully now then our reloading system should work so shoot a couple of times 
press R and you can see it's now playing our reload animation and it's all good. However, it's a bit jerky at the moment because the hand positions are a little bit off with our rifle, um, which isn't great. Um, one thing you could do to counter that is it seems the weapon is aiming sort of downwards a little bit, um, which might be part of the reason why it's like that. So I'm just going to rotate my weapon real quick inside of the socket for my character. So open up your skeletal mesh for the character and then with this, if we just set a preview thing in here to idle, just so that we can see it and the arms are in the right place. So let's just go with this. If we now just rotate our weapon up, oh, not the hand, we just rotate the weapon up from the skeletal view. So if we go and get our AK preview only, set our animation over here to idle, and then if we just simply select this, the little AK thing here, the weapon underscore attach, and then just rotate it up a little bit maybe, that should make it look uh, just a little bit cleaner. Now it looks a bit odd, but that's just because the animation, uh, sorry, the rig isn't really set up for this rifle, but press R and hopefully it should look a bit cleaner. And yeah, no, it's not great. But anyway, if you guys have a proper animation character rig and all that good stuff, you are not going to have this as an issue. But most importantly, you have got your reloading in your game. You can run along, you can shoot, you can reload and all of that good stuff. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much everything for today's video. We are going to be tidying up the reload stuff a little bit later on in this series. But for now, thanks for watching. Stay awesome. Keep creating. Your boy Virtus signing out. This series was made possible by you guys supporting me on Patreon. If you want to help create other series like this, then check out my Patreon page in the link in the description.